memes to make it seem like it was just another one of those easy math Facebook memes that you could pass around, when in reality it is one of the most brutally difficult math problems to ever get viral on the internet. Let's see how to find a solution to this problem about fruits. First of all, we set up our equation in variables a, b, and c, and we're looking for positive integers that satisfy this equation. Now we are going to clear in denominators, so I'm going to multiply by a plus b, a plus c, b plus c to get to this equation, and if you unravel this whole thing, you actually get an equation that looks like this. But now notice that this is actually homogeneous of degree three, and three variables, so I can actually divide by c cubed and do a change of variables to get it to be an equation of two variables. And now I'm looking for x and y rational numbers that satisfy this equation. This is the equation of what we call an elliptic curve, and there is a lot of theory that is known on how to deal with elliptic curves. That's, well, that's my own research, and I've written even a whole book about elliptic curves. So in any case, I can go from here, there's a change of variables, I'm not going to go through these change of variables, that gets you to an equation of this form. It has simplified to what we call a Weierstrass equation, and you can do even a simpler uh, form of this sort uh, with another change of variables. This is what we call a minimal model for that one. Now, for this elliptic curve, I can actually find all the rational points. I can uh, characterize all the rational points. There's a point of order six, this one, and then there's a point of infinite order, and together they generate all the points on that curve. Now, this point is the one that I'm going to bring back to my original problem and see if that's a solution that I want. So we start from that point P and send it to, remember this other Vagestras model, that maps to this point on that curve. But we actually want the point on this curve. So if I send P first to that E prime and then to C, actually I get this point, minus 11, minus four, one, and that is a solution of our original equation. However, these are not all positive numbers, and that was a requirement of the problem. Since P didn't work, I can go back to that curve and find other points. How? Well, it turns out that there is an addition law on that curve, so instead of taking P, I can add P to itself, find 2P and send it over, and I get this solution of the original problem, which corresponds to A, B, and C, given by these numbers, but this is also not a solution because this is not a positive number. So I have to keep going, and instead of P, 2P, 3P, I've tried all of them, and the very first one that works is 9P, which is the one that appears in the solution that Joe was giving in the video I'm replying to. That's the one.